So I was perusing uh, Facebook and uh, the beautiful DJ idea sharing page as per usual. And someone posted this for hire a funeral DJ. And, it, you know, it's it's a, it's fucking paragraphs. We're not going to read all of it. But, you know, I'm Michael. Well, I'm starting a new career as a uh, 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 funeral DJ. And he said, you know, punctuality, respect. Ma he does magic, too. Um, and uh, post-funeral friendship. He'll be your friend after the funeral. Left his mixtape, right? All rewinded. Hilarious. I thought the shit was funny as hell, but it got me thinking, okay? I got into a rabbit hole on this one. You know, I saw this post late a couple nights ago, and I was just thinking, I was like, that's funny, ha, ha, ha. And I was like, wait a second. Why aren't there more funeral DJs, you know? Why isn't there more funeral DJs? Why is it that we've been doing funerals the same forever? It's kind of been the same forever. If you think about it, I Googled, right? I Googled, I was like, all right, well, what's like popular funeral music? This is the first thing that popped up on Google. Wind Beneath My Wing, You Raise Me Up, I Will Remember You by Sarah McLaughlin. That's st from that stupid dog commercial. Donate 53 cents a day. I will remember you. Like that's, this is like, this is the funeral music. And it got me thinking, I'm like, you know, I, why, why, why do we play this shit at funerals? I mean, if someone dies, people are going to be upset about it regardless. Okay. Unless you're like a complete cocksucker, you know, I, if you die, if someone dies, there's going to be people upset, right? That's just how it works. Why stoke the fire? Why play all this shit? You know, why play the saddest music on top of everybody being sad regardless? Why not celebrate the life, you know? Why not play more upbeat music? And then it really got me thinking. I'm like, well, damn. Maybe there's kind of a market for this. Maybe, just maybe, funeral DJs could be the next wedding DJs. Hear me out, okay? I get it. I'm loopy. I just had surgery and I'm high as shit right now. <laughs> But hear me out, okay? Just hear me out. I think I'm onto something, okay? Um, like, if you think of the timeline, the general timeline of a funeral, right? You got the viewing. Well, what's the viewing like? What's the viewing like? It's like the cocktail hour, right? Kind of similar to the cocktail hour, if you really think about it. Everyone gathers. They usually have some light music on in the background, you know? Now, what about the burial? What's the burial? The burial is a lot like the ceremony. That's the ceremony. That's where you say your prayer. All that, that's kind of like the wedding ceremony, the burial. It's usually outside, right? Think about it. And then you got the after party. I'm sure you guys can guess what the after party is. That's the reception. Usually starts with dinner, a nice meal or something, maybe just a quick little buffet, maybe stations, but you know, there's usually some kind of a food. And then there's an open bar, you know, at the good ones. And you and you celebrate afterwards. There's just usually not a lot of dancing because there's not a DJ. I think I'm onto something, people. It's got the three major parts. The only difference is, is you could say like, you know, the viewing. And so if the viewing's the cocktail hour, cocktail hour would come first, then the burial and then the after party, you know what I mean? So it's just in a different order. But other than that, I mean, this is, you know, after party's reception. Maybe DJing funerals can be the next weddings. Seriously. And I just stopped there, okay? Think about enhancements. Think about the enhancements we can sell, okay? You got the viewing, right? You got the whole casket here. Why not sell them a photo booth? Brand new salsa booth. They can take pictures with the casket, okay? The funeral, you know, uh, a package can come with extra prints, a memory book, props, okay? Your favorite props, whatever, whoever died, you know, whatever they liked, you can kind of do related props. It could be a theme, right? F photo booth right up there. Take pictures with the casket. Come on. I mean, th th there's opportunity here. CO2 gun. Sell them an extra CO2 gun, okay? Blast some people at the viewing. 
I know you're thinking, what if it's religious, right? Well, you can bless the CO2. You bless the CO2. You have holy CO2. You're spraying on the whole, you know, uh, the whole casket. Okay. And anybody else wants to get sprayed. Who wouldn't get this? Come on. Come on. Tell me I'm not on to something. Come on. And we shouldn't stop there, DJs. Okay. We shouldn't stop there. Even the burial could use a little something. Okay. Let's say during the sermon for the epic moments, we had the sparklers. Okay. Hits an epic, epic moment of the sermon. Bam. Hit him with the sparklers one time. Or for an extra 49995, we can add four. We could do four for a better effect. This is better for bigger crowds, right? I mean, think about it. I personally, I think, I just think that funeral DJs could be the next wedding DJs. I think there's a market for this, people. I think this is a market that just needs to be shooken up. It just needs to, it needs a little something extra, in my opinion. Okay? Think about it, DJs. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can start a trend here. I'd DJ a funeral. I'd try it out. I'd vlog the whole thing, you know? I'd try it out. Who knows? Maybe it'll suck.